Hi everybody, today I want to bring you three tips that are going to help you get the most out of your YouTube videos and managing your blog. The first two that I'm going to show you is how to embed high quality videos onto your blog or site and the second is how to customize the player so it gives it a better look and it stands out on your site or blog. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the embedding high quality videos. First, when you go to any video on YouTube, you're going to find in most of them a link at the bottom that says watch in high quality. Now while this is great in watching videos in, in YouTube, uh, if you want to embed them into your website or blog, it won't embed in high quality. You have to add a special tag and I'm going to show you what that tag is in a minute. Uh, remember to visit Aramis Tech after the video to view the complete information for this, uh, uh, you know, the tag that you're going to need so you can copy and paste it directly into your videos. Um, here on top you're going to see that it says embed. So I grab this code right here because I want to embed this, say, this video into a site and I already have a notepad document that I'm going to show you that has the code on the top that you're going to need and the code we're going to paste. Here I have the code that you're going to need and this code you can find it at aramistech.com so you can put it right in there and uh, at the bottom here I'm going to paste the code that I just copied from uh, the uh, YouTube channel. Now all these codes and I'm going to show you in a second here have a value here and an SRC line here. The value line here ends in a one and an apostrophe so you're gonna add this code okay right between the one and the apostrophe and you're also gonna add it again in the SRC line right after the one right between the one and the apostrophe now this changes in the second tip which is where you customize the player and I'm gonna show you in a second how the code changes I'm not gonna modify this code so I can show you the difference uh, on the right here back on this page where we were at um, you have a little link here that says customize so you click on that and you can customize the view of the player on YouTube so when you embed it it has a nicer look however when you do this it does change the code depending on what you choose by default it has include related videos and a standard color now let's say for example if I choose show border and let's say I choose a color okay this is how it's gonna look here on the right it gives you a little preview now if you choose show border at the bottom here the code would not change. It would always end in a one, just like I showed you here on the top. It will always end in a one and apostrophe like this here. Okay, so it's going to end like that if you do it by choosing showing border. But if you take this show border out, okay, and you only want the bottom of the player to have a nice color to it, okay. Once you choose the size that you're going to want, watch this. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to go ahead and paste it back on the bottom here now this code is going to be different this code no longer ends in a one when I go to value okay and we go all the way to the end of the line it ends for example in this case a b six and then apostrophe and then you're gonna do the same thing it says src and you're gonna see it ends also a b six so it no longer ends in that one most videos on YouTube only show you about embedding it after the one but how about if you did change and customize your player you won't be able to find uh, where to put the the actual tag now I'm going to show you how you put it in both. So for example, I grab this code right here and I on this on the original code, you're going to go to value and go all the way to the end and choose right after the one and paste that code. So it'll be right after the one here. Then you're going to do the same thing in the SRC line. You go all the way to the end and after the one, go ahead and paste the code and now your code is ready. If you save this, this video is going to work now in high quality and I'm going to show you a, a sample after this. The second uh, embedded code that I have here, which is modified, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to value, but this time around, it doesn't end in a 1, it ends in AB6, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it right after the 6 and below, after, before the apostrophe. And you're going to go ahead and look for the SRC line and do the same thing. Go all the way to the end, and you're going to do the same thing. After the AB6, I'm going to go ahead and paste that code and now my code is ready to go. Now I can embed these videos whichever way I, I customize them and they'll play exactly flawlessly and in high quality. Now I'm going to show you a sample of that how it came out. I have here on the first one here the original code that what it looks like when you embed it okay now that's where the one where it ends in the one and also if you have the border the code is the same because it ends in a one 
Now, if you chose just the uh, nice look at the bottom here for the player, this is where you the code ends and it ends in AB6, and I had to add the code right after the 6. So remember to always look at that detail when you're going to um, add this. I hope this uh, helped you out. Now, the last tip I want to show you is Windows Live Writer. If you have a blog, Windows Live Writer is a great program I found that I use to manage my own blog and it works really good and flawlessly to manage anything I want on it. Now it lets you quickly connect to any blog that you're using and uh, add a post really quick and manage your articles. Uh, basically you can go ahead and, and look at your drafts, uh, the recently posted um, video, you know, articles you have and on top here for example I can put here a test, test and uh, sorry let me go back here alright let's put a test here and let's say I just put some text that I want to add in here it's really easy to do that and it's real time when you're viewing uh, let's say I want to add a picture to it so I'm gonna go ahead and just embed a, a photo all you have to do is you grab a photo for example let's say a sample photo here and drop it it's gonna resize that photo and it's gonna be ready to upload it once you save this by publishing it it will upload it to your blog directly so it's a no-brainer very easy to use and you can customize the photo. You can click on the photo here, and on the right, you can change the drop shadow to uh, photo paper or change other settings to it. You can go ahead and change it to small, medium, or large, whichever one you want for your blog. And you can rotate it, adjust the contrast, so you can do several things. Uh, basically, this is a good program. Go to aramistech.com. I will put there the links to download the Windows Live Writer. Uh, it's a nice free program from Microsoft. Try it out. I think it's really good. And I hope these three tips helped you out, get the most out of your YouTube experience and your videos. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send me an email if you get stuck. Uh, but definitely try this out. This is really good. Um, the high quality videos on YouTube will work on your blog or your website. Thank you for watching and I appreciate you watching all of my videos.